we shall now do some octave scripting to design PV systems. I have here in the folder two files. One is systemdesign.m. I will discuss about that now. And the other one is hatestimation.m. This we have discussed earlier. In fact, I have picked this file from my previous week's discussion. This gives an estimate of HAT. Uh, the incident uh, energy at a place uh, with atmospheric effects and tilt. Uh, I have only slightly modified this file uh, so that it becomes a function and I can call it into systemdesign.m. So I will now go, go into systemdesign.m and here I have written the script file. So basically it contains few sections. One is the specifications which contain the specs related to load, specs related to battery, specs related to PV and insulation. Then uh, just like we discussed in theory the uh, sizing of the battery, we will try to put in those equations into the script file. Then how to uh, obtain H -hat, uh, HAT minimum is basically I use the same script file that we had discussed earlier uh, in an earlier week but only that now it's converted into a function and then how we go about sizing the PV so and then finally displaying the results so these are the sections and I have put in the numbers uh, the same numbers that we had worked out by hand uh, so that you can verify them. So I have here in specs related to load, watt hour day, watt hour night, uh, peak load current, average load current, the number of days of autonomy, number of days of uh, recharge after autonomy, specs related to the battery, we bat nominal voltage, efficiency of the battery, DOD, depth of discharge, and uh, those related to PV and insulation. The efficiency of the PV 16%, latitude 12.97 Bangalore latitude, the tilt angle of 10 degrees. So the battery sizing equation, the same equations that we discussed in uh, theory, uh, I have included them here. And uh, estimating H HAT uh, minimum. Uh, this one what I have done is I have used the file that we have already worked on before except that I have converted it into a function a function which gives an output as HAT minimum and the name of uh, the function is HAT estimation and the inputs to the function is Q or phi latitude and B beta tilt angle. So I have just made uh, those uh, comments here and then the rest of this is same as the HAT estimate uh, function that we discussed mm -hmm. earlier. And finally I am sending out returning this HAT minimum which is minimum of HAT uh, uh, array uh, and this is what is returned back and we use for the system design. So this is the HAT estimate. So the, you will find the HAT minimum from here in kilowatt hour per meter square per day, which we will use this value here to find the peak watt. Uh, so uh, this portion is basically that I want to clamp the NR value to one because I have a division by NR and I can't actually do a division by zero. So therefore, uh, I am limiting uh, NR uh, to uh, 1 with a new variable NRR. This is just for calculation computation within the script file. Uh, otherwise, all the equations are as we have discussed. And then uh, going to the display, you display the specs. Then you display the battery sizing results and the PV sizing results. So this will give you the entire system design. Let me now see. Let us now see how we uh, uh, run this in Octave and obtain the results. So let me start Octave. So this is Octave. Let me go to the uh, specific folder PV Sim. So we have these two files here, like we discussed. Let me clear the workspace, and I will execute System Design. System. Design. 
So I'm executing clear everything. So you, you will see that the display uh, results are displayed. Okay. These are the displayed outputs for the PV system design. The first part relates to the specifications. It is, uh, these are the same numbers as we have inputted. Spe specs related to load, specs related to battery, specs related to PV and insulation. It is good to have all these numbers in one place so that you can always cross check with the results uh, that you have obtained. The second part is the battery sizing, the PV sizing, battery sizing, the ampere hour capacity of the battery, 68 uh, AH, and then you have the C rate with respect to peak load discharge, C rate with respect to average load discharge. It is basically the ampere hour calculated divided by the peak current and ampere hour calculated divided by the average load current divided. So C by 11, but you can use uh, the nearest um, nearest uh, ten value lower than this, so it it can be C by ten, C by twenty five nearest tens value can be C by twenty. So this is as per we have discussed while doing the uh, manual calculations. PV sizing you have a chat minimum you see four point five eight, whatever required for the PV uh, peak array. Uh, the peak uh, the peak watts of the PV array is uh, 418 intrinsic area 2.6 uh, meter square and actual real estate area around 3.4 meter square just as per we have calculated but uh, uh, this is uh, just to validate what we have done but uh, you can explore with lot of things here you can include days of autonomy uh, number of days of uh, uh, charge recharge uh, uh, replenishing the battery after the days of autonomy play around with the uh, day and the night load and uh, see what are the output results as uh, with respect to the battery and the PV sizing this will give you more insight uh, into the design of the PV systems